I decided to start my business when I moved here because I saw the need of diversity. And many times when I want to eat African or Caribbean cuisine, I have to drive to Dallas or Houston. Because you have the community, you can start a business here in Shreveport and I'll take that same model and start it in New York. I won't get seen like I've been seen here in Shreveport because of the community. Shreveport does acknowledge talent. That's one thing I'll tell you because the community actually will put you out there before you even put yourself out there if you have a great product. We take pride in what we do. We kind of grow our own um, vegetables some days when we can. You want some deliciousness from RNL's Cookery Corner. We serve Caribbean and West African food. The hype about fufu, the hype about oxtail, we got it. Thank you. Thank you for letting me make this city my home. Thank you for welcoming me. Thank you for your awesome support. Without you, I cannot be where I am today. Continue believing in me so I can shine, you can shine, and I can put Shreveport on the map because this is my home now. I'm gonna retire here. I'm forever gonna be here. The support that I have here, I do not believe I even have in my own country where I'm from. So the community is big to me, and that's the reason why I'm staying in Shreveport. I hope one day to open up a restaurant because the community have supported me when I didn't have a food truck, let alone have a place for them to meet me. Sometimes we meet in the back of my car and I have food and I have dress for them to try on. So the community is just wonderful here. And I'll say I'm, an, I'm a wonderful person. I know how to manage relationships. So I don't play with my community and I make sure I tell them every time. I give people their flowers and Shreveport, you rock. I don't care what nobody says, Shreveport, you rock.